What's up, good people? It's your fine fantasy homie, Jay. And tomorrow is the big day. The first four high-end rates, if you're into that content, will be dropping on December 24th, 1st, which is tomorrow of this video. Um, Pandemonium is the is the very first four raids if you're excited about that um this vo this video will have some minor spoilers because i'm going to explain what the best is for monk best means best in slot best gear you should have the best material you should have going into pandemonium to be able to optimize your damage in the best way to to work to try to get these clears for the first four normal high-end raids the savage ones will drop i believe january 4th so we got time for that. So if you're into that content, this video will probably be the way you want to go. It'll be a good video for you and just making sure that you're ready for that content. Like I said, super a uh, little spoilery because I have to explain what the extreme raids are, <laughs> the stream trials are to prepare for this. Um, so if you have not finished in Walker, please do not watch this video <laughs> because I, I hate spoiling things for anybody. Um, but if you have be in walker then this video won't matter to you uh, but i wanted to give out this spoiler before i go into this conversation with that said <laughs> let's get it started the one the first the this will be your best your best will will be uh your best will require you to get all your i forgot what they're called <laughs> all your alpha rooms tombstone gear the alpha room tombstone gear is the level 90 stone tombstones that you get um for playing we're playing the level 90 dailies and, and getting this gear here from this person that's in Ra. I'm just going to use Ra. I can pop the map up for you so you see right quick. We're just chilling right here. This is where you will turn in your stones to get the gear that you need. Uh, I recommend going ahead and get all your gear, all your body gears and all your accessory gears and your weapon. So that way, extreme, the extreme trials can be a little easier for you. So you can go in with the max, you know, max gear uh, possible. So the next thing you want to do is, so once we get our headgear from our tomes, our, our bodies, our, our hands, our legs, and our feet, we also want to make sure we get one ring minimum. That's what makes sure you want to get. So once we get that, that will be your best, best in slot or monk. The next thing is you're going to have to get from the extremes, which <laughs> watch a guide. Uh, if you want to watch a guide, you're going to get, you're going to get your accessories from Zodiac, the menstrual ballad. Uh, for zodiac and you're gonna get your weapon from the menstrual ballot of hydaline because hydaline will drop your weapon and zodiac will drop your accessories as you can see i've done it all <laughs> i've missed out i've been grinding those trials they're so fun once you get the hang on them they're such a good vibe and it's just a good time to do those things so hydaline will actually give you your best weapon uh for monk and you want to get your four pieces from zodiac now you're gonna ask, like, why don't why, what you don't you mean five pieces? No, unfortunately for the Zodiac ring, you can only wear one of them. So you're gonna have a 580 ring from Zodiac, and you're gonna wear your 570 ring from your tomes. And that is gonna be your best. Um, that's gonna be the best things you can have going into Pandemonium. I think it's Pandemonium or Print Pan. Pan is it pandemonium pandemonium is what it, the, the four the first four high rays <laughs> tomorrow, uh, which is gonna be super fun. As far as if you get if you understand how material work and get into material, in Shadowbringers, the material the material requirement was we did a lot of skill speed, and that's because we really wanted to be able to get as many buttons out as much as possible. Um, right now in this expansion, and I will drop the link where I get my information from, where I compare notes to, where I look at bits from. Um, that is that is the balance. That's the Discord that I use to kind of get my information, get an understanding more, as I also learn things about Monk. Um, and I'm gonna drop. I'm also gonna drop the link below of every of of exactly what uh, a link that will take you exactly to what you need. So this video is like kind of like the the vocal, and then you can use the link to kind of follow through. But for this expansion um crit looks like it's the way we're going and and now i think about it it makes a lot more sense because before monk was less about consistent speed consistent damage over time so we needed that skill speed just to keep out pun punching damage rather and, and our and our and our perfect balance had a, like a little burst phase which is fine but now in inwalker we have two burst phases that we're constantly like using and with that, we want to make sure that we are we are hitting our crits because with boot shine, since we're using boot shine and dragon kick combos so much, we're going to be getting a lot of crits. And because of that, we want to make sure that our boot shine combination is critting as much as possible, and all our other crits are critting as much as possible. 
Because now we're not so focused on trying to hit main buttons as possible, but we're focusing on trying to hit that pocket of burst damage where we're doing two magical blitz into a brotherhood, into a rhythm of fire and, and doing our rotation that way. So because of that, as you can see, um, as you can see, we have skill speed to fill in a few of the spots, but most of these are crit hit, critical hits, critical hits, critical hits. So like for your for your for your weapon is two skill it's the it's the material ten all these are material ten, and they're gonna be for your weapon um, double skill speed for your head is gonna be determination skill speed uh, for your body double crit it's gonna cap just one so instead of giving you thirty six gives you thirty five double crit for your hands double crit for your legs uh, skill speed and determination for your for your feet for your accessories we're going crit for your ring crit. For your neck uh skill speed for your bracelet crit for your for your ring i say earring crit uh crit for your earrings not your ring crit for your ring and then crit for your ring so as you can see we're doing a lot of crit right now this expansion and it and, and it probably will change it may change it may not but as far as this video it's kind of flow on how you want this is the best in slot that you can do going into um high end raids right now Going, if you just if you don't even do rays but just want to do the most damage you can this is going to be your best weapons and best gear to get as we prepare <laughs> for the raids as always i love sharing information to help my monk mains or anybody who's interested in just learning about different classes or just you know content in general hit me up in twitch i will start streaming high-end content starting wednesday high-end the first four raids that'll be a good time come through uh i won't know what i'm doing so it'll be fun <laughs> hit me in the comments if you ever had any suggestions or any thoughts any questions i try to answer every single comment and i will see y'all in the next video i am so excited there's so much content coming out for final fantasy and i'm just trying my best to give y'all as much as i can hope you have a great day and i will see y'all in the next video <laughs>